Division unit began surveying Oregon hunters regarding their opinions and attitudes about lead ammunition, available alternatives, and strategies used in other locations to reduce the use of lead ammunition. A survey of the non-hunting public is currently underway as well. The survey effort was prompted due to the increasing effort to restore California condors throughout their historic range, which includes portions of Oregon. California condors have been the subject of an intensive, high-profile recovery effort since the 1980s when the condor population dwindled to just 22 birds. An intensive captive breeding program was initiated, including a facility operated by the Oregon Zoo. In 1992, condors were released, re-released in California, and in Arizona in 1996 by the United States Fish and Wildlife Service. More recently, the service began discussions with the Yurok Tribe of Northern California regarding a release site <coughs> on tribal land south of the Oregon border. A memorandum of understanding was signed in March of this year, setting the stage for potential releases in Northern California in the near future. According to the Fish and Wildlife Service, the primary cause of condor mortality is lead poisoning, with lead ammunition as the primary source. The service states that while other lead exposure sources may exist, for instance, paid chips, science has clearly shown that condors are primarily exposed to lead by ingesting lead shot or fragments of lead bullets when feeding on carcasses. Lead rifle bullets fragment to hundreds of tiny pieces when they strike an animal and are left behind in the gut pile. And those are quotes from the service. According to the Fish and Wildlife Service documents, this threat and others must be addressed in a meaningful way in any proposal to reintroduce condors. The service uses the California legislation banning the use of lead ammunition for hunting as an example.